on here in the limelight. We are back, everybody. And yet again today, another really cool entrepreneur I want you to know about. But before I bring him on, I do want to remind you to please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell, do all those lovely things that you can do to show a little bit of love to the In the Limelight multimedia platform. As you all well know, we go um, to YouTube and not only on video, we are on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Inspired News Radio with our podcast. And don't forget, In the Limelight magazine, we just dropped a new one. I'm waiting for the hard copies to come in. But if you want to know more about that, just go over to clarissabert.com and you can read that magazine. It's beautiful. I think it's really coming along nicely. Uh, the gentleman I'm going to bring on is also in the magazine. And uh, you can go in under the magazine tab and read what's happening for uh, intelligent uh, entrepreneurs all over the world. That's what I say. That's what we're all about. So I met this next gentleman again, as I always say, you know, pretty frequently I say at a networking event and we hit it off immediately. And I said, you know, I'm thinking about doing this magazine and I'd love you to have you in it. And he was so kind um, and just really jumped on board right away, became a sponsor. Uh, and there he is. That's Craig Shaw. And we are bringing him in from Beverly Hills, everybody. Craig Shelley, luxury timepieces. People, when I tell you, his stuff is gorgeous. You have to believe me. Let's see if I can find it here in the magazine, Craig. Welcome to the show. How are you? Thank you for having me, Clarissa. Doing great. Thanks. Oh, thank you. It's really great to be, you know, we've got this collaboration going. And while I'm being very rude, not looking in the here, we got to look at that. Everybody. Yes, that is me. And these are one of the time pieces right there. Looks like the one you're wearing now, Craig. Yes, it's the El Capitan Blue Gold. That's the one. Uh, that gorgeous. Wearing. So beautiful. And Great. then we've got this one for ladies. Is that yep. for ladies? Yeah, that's right. That's the love and uh, belief. I believe those are the two yeah. models that we released uh, in, in fall of 2019. Right. Well, I'm so I'm thrilled that we're collaborating in the magazine and I was super honored to be uh, the face of because I am also one of your affiliates. But before we start talking about that, I want to make sure that everybody knows, uh, first off, how they can follow along. You're going to go to Craig Shelley dot com. If you there it is, everybody on the ticker, if you want to follow uh, along or take a real quick look at the website while you're listening, you can do that. Um, and Craig is going to tell us uh, all about how Craig Shelley came to be, I know that he was born in India, if I'm not mistaken. That is correct. Yes, I was born in India. Um, I moved here when I was 19, and I was working for a company. Um, for you know, when I was 16, I started working for them, and I worked for almost six years until I was 22. Um, uh -huh. I, I moved from you know, when I was 16, I moved from Hong Kong to Tokyo to Thailand and to many different part of uh, parts of the world. And then finally at 19, I was moved over to the office in Los Angeles uh, as an assistant manager here, uh, one of the youngest assistant managers that they had. Um, and then I, you know, and a couple of years later, I, I quit my job over here. I, I, you know, started a family and, and, and started this company. Uh, right. And, yeah. You were starting to get the, I can't work for anybody else itch. And you decided, and you decided to jump into entrepreneurialism. All of the beauties of I always have said this many times on the show, and I love the quote. So I say it frequently: If you don't want to work a nine to five, then be prepared to work twenty four seven. And I think as an entrepreneur, you can agree with me when I say, uh, you know, it's there. There are the pros and the cons, but it's so beautiful the freedom and the liberty that entrepreneurialism gives you. And we wanted to talk with you today about some of the ups, the downs, the goods, the bads, you know, the, the, the press through moments, the overcoming moments, um, and give some advice. You know, we're going to give some advice today. That's what I'd really like to do. But before we do that, you're going to do that in a little bit. We're going to talk about a little bit more of the history of your brand. So, okay. So you decided you want to open up Craig Shelley. Craig mm -hmm. is your name. Shelley is your wife's name. So everyone mm -hmm. knows that's where it comes from. Mm -hmm. And from there, how did you, you just sit around a kitchen table, the two of you and just say, Hey, Let's do a business. What What are we going to do? Or did you already know it was going to be uh, time pieces? Oh, no, no, not at all. Um, you know, honestly, I had enough of working for my um, ex-boss. Uh, and that's the only job that I had. Six years of working for 
uh, for him, uh, w was a very successful entrepreneur himself at the time, but it was also very, you know, you know, it was, it was very demanding, very blood sucking, not rewarding at all. And it didn't right. pay me my salaries, uh, in, you know, for years and years and, you know, always, you know, wanted more and more. So we decided that, you know, it was time for us, you know, we were 22 and we just, you know, we found out that she's pregnant with our first baby and, and we said, you know what? Yeah. And, and we said, okay. And, and, and quite honestly, I, I was struggling with my company. So I told him, I'm going to leave you guys. And right when my daughter was born, we ended up leaving the company. Right. Uh, so that's a scary it moment. It was quite a challenging moment that, you know, um, didn't know what we were going to do yeah. uh, with a little kid in, in my lap, you know, like, wow. Our wow. And, uh, and my uncle, who is, is a very, very, a great kind man grew, you know, I was raised at his house, my mom's brother. Okay. He gave us a lot of support and he's like, you know, he mentored me and he's like, don't worry, you know, I'm here. Just go out and start something new. Right. And so we said, okay, you know what? We start something. What do we do? Cause I, I was wholesaling diamonds and jewelry, but you know, I had to respect my company because they were family friends too. So I right. stepped out of the way and I said, okay, I'm going to start something creative. So mm -hmm. we said, Okay, why don't we start creating some jewelry and design uh, bridal rings, engagement rings in platinum and 18 karat with diamonds. And we started with a small collection of 40 pieces. Wow. We, we, you know, I, I used to travel door to door to the retailers all across the country and, and would sell little kits of uh, display units. And, you know, we started like that, you know, and it was a very humble beginnings, nothing at all uh, to our name. Uh, except for a support that, you know, someone offered us to, um, wow. okay, we'll support you, you know. That was very kind. I mean, it's, it was nice to have a little bit of a buffer with your family, but you knew that probably wasn't going to last forever. So you forged through and decided also somewhere along the line that you were going to make an affiliate program with us. Talk, talk uh, with this. Talk to us about that. Yeah, so the journey was very, um, very unique. You know, I was, as in any entrepreneurs, we, we got up and we fell down and we got up and we fell down and we, you know, we, we, we picked ourselves up and we said, okay, well, we're going to start, um, you know, building the base, you know, here. And for, for a long time, we were into, uh, you know, retail model where, you know, we were at the brick and mortar level, we also had our own stores, um, you know, the family was supporting and we would run, you know, we would run the place. Um but then we decided to come up with this affiliate model. You know, this model is um, it's so important because we changed the directions of, of the company last mm -hmm. couple of years mm -hmm. as I took over as the CEO of the group. Uh, and we decided that we're going to give back to children and hospitals and, and, and veterans. And, you know, that, that became more because I saw that a big amount of uh, revenue was going into paying uh, the malls and, and right, and, right. Know, overheads and all that so we said okay why don't we take that you know we're manufacturers why don't we take that profit and we give it back to children we break the cycle of poverty and we support shriners hospital for children we, you know yeah. along comes hope children with cancer and that kind of you know beautiful yeah into that kind of right that. Mm -hmm. and so we created this affiliate model that we just you, know, you were just talking about and it, it's basically a win-win-win situation where we, you know, we screen who wants to come into the system, you know, their clients, you know, their clients, all of them, but who wants to come into the system and become an affiliate and, and, and help children's and hospitals. And we take that model and we donate to their own charity. So if you, you know, obviously you're an ambassador, so your own charity would be benefited by everything you do. We would, you know, we would donate them, we would auction timepieces or jewelry for them and give 100% donation to them. So now not only that you're part of the system, but you're also helping your own charity and, and supporting people, you know, people that you, right. and right. at the same time making a passive income. Because yeah. That's extraordinary. That's really great. And I know you've helped a lot. How does that make you feel when you know you're, you know, you're impacting the lives of so many people by sort of, you know, turning upside down the old model, coming up with something new, this affiliate program that also is helping with, with uh, charity and the underprivileged. That's pretty amazing. Underprivileged or let's say disabled, sickly, whatever people decide they, uh, their, their charities are going to be, that's going to be a pretty extraordinary feeling when you wake up in the morning, huh? 
Well, absolutely. You know, I just, every time I pray, I'm very spiritual. You know, I, I, I just ask God for strength. And so how many more lives can we impact today? You know, how many more people can we help? Um, right. You don't have to know them to be, you know, even if it's not by money, money, you know, people can help each other by uplifting their spirit. You know, that's what sure. it's about. So yeah. it's a very satisfying feeling, but there's so much more to be done. If the culture of the company and the world becomes like this, everybody decides that they're going to do their part and give back. I think we're going to have a lot of balance and a lot of the problems that we have in the world will go away. Yeah. Uh, let alone hunger is one of the biggest things, you know, you, you can't imagine uh, yeah. family being poor for generations. Yeah, you know? for sure. Absolutely. Okay. So the affiliate model comes along and now you have what you call ambassadors. If someone wants to become an ambassador, uh, Craig, how would they go about doing that? Well, it's basically a very simple process. You know, we, we interview them, we meet with them and you know we learn a little bit more about them we see who they are and you know a do they have a heart to give back or are they you know it's not for all in, you know what's in it for me it's never sure. that person right right it's only the person who wants to help somebody else first uh, we're all blessed you know we all have food on the table yeah. we all have water yeah. in, the, in the fridge but there are so many like we're, we're just gonna we're, we, before this pre-coronavirus we were supposed to launch a a, a a program, a campaign called Water uh, Watches for Water. Basically, every watch of the Oceanic Collection supports uh, one water pump uh, in 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 Liberia, which would feed 1,500 people. People who have to walk 30 miles, 10 miles, 20 miles, 30 miles to get a fresh bucket of water for their family. So, if, you know, if someone wants to come into the system, we we like to know them. We like to know what business they are in. Are they speaker coaches or they are just uh, influential people are there enthusiastic about meeting and talking in public and telling them about our brand. Um, and also we like to know that what is their main line of business? You know, like what do they want? You know, how, yeah. how do, are they really entrepreneurs who want to excel in life? We take them and we uh, try to embrace them because we have newsletters. We have, uh, you know, we have social media out. We have almost 15,000 entrepreneurs in our system. Right. That's right. Years. Our right. yeah, people come in because they feel that, you know, that connection uh, that, you know, that we bring to the table, like people like yourself, people like Greg Reed, uh, you know, Jeffrey Hazlett or Bill Walsh, or, you know, I could just go on, Alex, yeah. millionaires, billionaires, athletes, champions, doctors, lawyers, a very well, well vetted group of multimillionaires and billionaires amongst very learned people are right. right. Our, our community. So if people want the access to that, you know, if people want them to be, we, we send out newsletters, we send out, um, you know, social media posts, and we have live events right now. We don't have live events, but, you know, we had 32 events this year that That's we were incredible. You know, yeah. I mean, I always see you, you know, I see your, I see your posts, I see your social and you're always on a red carpet somewhere because you're invited to a lot of really incredible events with phenomenal people. Uh, and again, a lot of them are, are all about doing the right thing, giving back, paying it forward, tithing, volunteering, and the like. I'm going to give everybody your, uh, your social just so they can follow you on Facebook. It's at, well, on everywhere, actually, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Instagram, everyone. It is at Craig Shelley. Beverly Hills. You can see the ticker uh, on the screen. So you can go to the website as well. Uh, there's no excuse not to find Craig. So Craig, oh, um, recently you have kind of moved into something new and that is you're, you're doing your own, let's call it Zoom call. I don't know if it was on Zoom. I think it was on Zoom, wasn't it? Yeah. And I was there, I was, I was watching and, and enjoying uh, the, uh, the, the, um, meeting that you had pulled together, you're helping entrepreneurs also learn about entrepreneurialism from some of the mega giants in the world. Let's talk about that a second. Yeah. So, you know, uh, you know, what, what, how do you say that, you know, necessity is the, you know, or, you know, the, the, mo the mo mother of invention, mother of invention or creativity, right? So <laughs> always had this, um, you know, a um, lot of requests from my clients, my friends, my colleagues, the people who are in touch with me regularly. And they always ask me for business advice. They always ask me for, what do you think I should do? And, and I, I sit down, I spend some time with them. I evaluate their business. I try to help them because, you know, the, I I've raised a lot of businesses and I've had multiple successful exits. And I sit on boards of, um, you know, three technology companies and a couple of masterminds. So I have, I have some, you know, I, I'm blessed with all my... I'm blessed to be around learned people, wise people. And I, I'm forced to listen to them every day because of 
my affiliation with them or my partnership with them. So we we decided that, you know, how can we bring value in this tough time? You know, this is unprecedented timing. You know, like nobody ever expected that the world would be on vacation, stay home vacation at the same time. And the craziest thing. Oh, crazy. Learned a lot. I'm sure everybody, um, every single human being learned something from this past five, six weeks that we're home. Um, so we decided to bring value, bring some incredible coaches. You know, I always say that when you have nothing to do, you always have something to do. You always find that time to learn new, new sure. technology, maybe learn new, uh, uh, you know, no, learn a new business, you know, maybe a revenue model. I a never, new language, a new book, uh, you know, so many people are doing some re really great things to their homes right now, cleaning out, cleaning, you know, the painting walls. It's been great to watch. It's if there's, a, if there's a silver lining in all of this, I think that a lot of people really did t what you're going to, you know, toward is a lot of people really did take stock in their lives. I think, I think many people are going to redirect course direct along the way. Yes, absolutely. And, and that's what, uh, you know, I learned so much. I, I adopted new technologies and I'll tell you, I learned so much from you, Clarissa, thanks to you. You bring me to so many new things. And I think people who are listening, obviously they know who you are and how, but, you know, I would be very delighted to, you know, tell everybody about you and our, our partnership because I think. <laughs> yeah, okay. Knock so yourself much. out. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk you know. about me, Craig. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, of course. You just rising, shining. You've always been. How did you turn this interview stuff. around? I do not know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so we decided to start this um, under the banner of Business Empowerment Summit. Like, basically. Right you know, have a different subject, a different guru, a different expert every time. And, and along with them have a few other speakers so that there's a little bit of diversity and balance in that group. And not just not somebody's not only talking about money or somebody's not only talking about, uh, you know, finances, but I, I figured out, you know, it's very important to have know your financial independence number. I learned that last year and I, I partnered up with a cool guy named Cash. Um, right. I also learned that, you know, um, so many things that I didn't, I never had any idea. I need, I didn't know how to trade stocks every time I would put money and I would lose. And by the way, I'm still losing something, yeah. <laughs> but you know, I learned how to trade them on a daily basis and, and learn the market. Cause I, now I had the time, you know, I had the time to do that on a regular basis. I would wake up and I would have emails and calls from eight different offices across the world everybody in a different time zone needed, needing something. So I, I did not have time for any of that. Yeah. Uh, now I do have the time. I adopted new technology, a new CRM system, um, how to organize my stuff and, and use it wisely. So all of this, you know, I'm applying in this model. I'm inviting people to join us, you know, at a time maybe there are 50 or 100, 200 people, they come in and we, you know, they listen to these values that, these gurus provide and they feel so empowered. Yeah. I thank you. Emails, text messages, right? Because it's not a salesy call. It's not nothing to do with sales. It's just about giving and opening people's minds. Are you doing that weekly? Not really every two weeks. I think okay. that, yeah. so people can find out about that through your social. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> I just, so sorry. I just, it's okay. Oh. We're all working. We're all oh. working. We're, yeah. Just last question. How can people find out about your, um, your online event through your uh, social? Yes, yeah, sure. You know, we, they can look up my social on Facebook. I'm pretty active on Facebook. I'm not as active on Instagram as I should be. Yeah. But, me too. Um, yeah. You know, Facebook is kind of where I am always. I have good following. I have good people yeah. that are friends that I, I see everybody there. So they can always look up on um, on Facebook. Fantastic. I'd, I'd look up at Craig Shaw on Facebook and, and on uh, Instagram as well uh, at Craig Shaw or Craig Shelley Beverly Hills. Doesn't matter. Fantastic. But uh, yeah, I'll announce the new one uh, pretty soon. And there's some exciting people in there. There are. And you, of course, know. So I'm coming up. Aren't I coming up? all right you know, i think we covered everything is there anything i didn't get to that you wanted to mention mm -hmm. um i think you said everything it's very important um to give back in, in my opinion and everybody that's listening um i you know I, you guys are all amazing people out there and just doing a little bit by helping someone in need is going to go that much farther, you know, like, and it's going to give you, you know, you're going to be blessed by someone you never met. So I think yeah. 
to me, that's a very important part of life. Um, and Clarissa, you are truly, you know, you're truly amazing. You're truly a life a gift. Um, and I thank you for doing everything that you do and you. what you bring to the table for everybody. Thanks, yeah. Thanks, Craig. Really appreciate that. Craig Shaw, everybody, the man, the lit, the legend. He's right there. I'm going to say goodbye for now, but we're going to, we'll be seeing you again real soon. And uh, everybody, don't forget, you can, you can get the, you know, Limelight Magazine. You're going to be hearing him uh, on our podcast and certainly here on YouTube. You can listen to him over and over and over again. Bye, everybody. We'll talk to you the next time. Bye, Craig. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Clarissa. Thanks for watching this episode of In the Limelight TV, intelligent media for the savvy entrepreneur. Please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel and connecting with me on social. You can listen to this interview on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Stitcher. And you can also go to inthelimelightmedia.com to read our digital magazine.